So here in Final Cut Pro 10, I'm gonna share a few tips for adding social media icons, such as the Facebook icon and Instagram icon you can see here, and for adding emojis into your edits in Final Cut Pro 10. And so you can see I've got a couple of type layers here. I'm gonna delete these from the get-go um, so that we can start from scratch. So essentially what we have is a single layer of video here and over the top we're gonna to overlay to start with one type layer that we're then gonna add some social media icons to. So the Facebook, the Instagram icon, maybe a couple of others. And then we'll have a look at how we can add emojis in Final Cut Pro 10. So we'll go to our type and generator options up here. And we're just looking here for our basic title. So we're looking for the, the basic title. If you don't see it quickly, you can just type in a search here and pick it out and we'll drag that down to the timeline. So in order to edit the type, we need to go into the inspector so that we can change the, the font that we're using, the properties of that font. So we're gonna to go to window, show in workspace and inspector. If you already have it to the right, then you'll already see the inspector over here on the right-hand side. And then the font that we're gonna be using is called Font Awesome. So if you don't have Font Awesome installed, so come to fontawesome.io, hit download, um, download the, the font. We're just gonna download the basic font and it will download as a zip file. So if we come to show in Finder, it's gonna be dropped into our downloads folder and we can drag that to the desktop where we can double click and unzip it. So once it's unzipped, what you're looking for in this folder is in the fonts folder, we have on the Mac the Font Awesome TTF that we can double click on and it will open up in Fontbook, which is the installation tool for installing fonts on your Mac and hit install font. And so I already have Font Awesome installed, so it's giving me a, an error saying that a duplicate font is being installed. So I'm gonna skip through this step and we'll jump straight back into Final Cut Pro 10. So in Final Cut Pro, we can change our font here to Font Awesome, so we'll scroll up. And what you'll notice once you've changed to Font Awesome is that anything you type in um, won't show you the icons that are available in that font. So we need to do a different step here when we're actually working in Final Cut Pro. In applications like InDesign, you can bring up the glyphs and you can add those glyphs into your edit. But here in Final Cut Pro 10, we actually need to go to this web cheat sheet, so fontawesome.io slash cheat sheet. And here we can see all the different icons that you can use in Font Awesome. So I'm just gonna hold down Command and Tap Plus just to zoom in on this a little bit so we can see the fonts a little bit more clearly on screen. So you can see the list of different fonts that we have here. And when you're on the, the Font Awesome cheat sheet page, and we'll scroll down, we'll find one of the arrows to start with, we'll drag across this arrow, copy that, so edit, copy, and then come to Final Cut Pro and edit, paste, and it's gonna paste in that icon. So once we've got that in there, we can increase the size of it, we can decrease the size of it, and change the color of it by using the face options down here. So we can pick our, our color from in here in a couple different ways. And so that's how to add an icon from Font Awesome. So what you'll notice as you scroll down the page in the cheat sheet is that there's a whole bunch of different icons for social media, for battery levels, and that type of thing. So there's some really useful fonts in there. And then if we do a search, so I'm just gonna do, so I'm just gonna do Command and F here, and I'm gonna search for Facebook. You can see that we get a few different options for Facebook icons. So I can copy one of those, come back to Final Cut Pro, and then paste that in. And we get the question mark up here, but we get the, the Facebook icon, importantly, in our edit. So we have a Facebook icon. If we come back here and do Command and F and search for Insta, we'll find an Instagram icon. We can grab that. And then if we keep coming down, we'll find a whole bunch of different icons. And what you'll find in here compared to something like Webdings or Wingdings is there are a lot more options for newer style icons. And if we need a Star Wars Resistance logo, we have that too within Font Awesome. So we can have our Facebook and our Instagram and our Star Wars Resistance logo. So once we've pasted those in, you'll see there's a question mark in there, but we get the graphic in our video here. And this is a, a normal video layer, so we can move things around using the, the transform option here. We can rescale them and we can also animate them as well so if we want to for instance let's just delete a couple of these 
So if we want to animate the, the Facebook logo, we can drag it to the left, come to our video options here, turn on our keyframing for position, come ahead in time and then drag it on and we're gonna get an animation of that icon popping onto screen. So we can animate these elements and add a number of different social media icons. So let's move on here to looking at how we can add emojis in Final Cut Pro 10. So we come to a slightly different spot for this and what I'm gonna do first of all is just hold down the Alt key and duplicate this type layer. And I'm gonna come up to my transform options here and just remove any of that animation that was um, on there originally. So let's just nudge this to the, the left a little, this new layer. And with this new layer, um, we're gonna go back to the type tool. And this time to add the emojis, we're gonna come up to the, the little flag. You might see a US flag, you might see um, a French flag if you're using the French character keyboard. Um, but essentially this is where we go to show our emojis and symbols. So we've got another set of symbols here. Um, and also our emojis as well. Once we've got this up, we can come to our emojis and you'll see there's a nice, huge long list of emojis of different icons that we can use and place within Final Cut Pro 10. So I can drag on and into here some smiley faces and we've got some very cool emojis, if emojis are your thing, that we can add into our Final Cut Pro 10 timeline. And obviously, as we showed before, we can animate these as well. We can also do some things with the effects. So for instance, if, if we wanted to do a little bit of a shake effect here, we could come into our distortion and add something like the earthquake to our effects, which is gonna make our emojis dance a little bit. And we can probably, with this under the video tab, increase the amount so we get a bit more earthquake and we can reduce the number of layers so we get a little less of that motion blur and we can have some dancing emojis at the bottom of our screen. So you can see there's a whole bunch of different options for adding graphic icons, for adding emojis into your Final Cut Pro 10 edit. And if we duplicate this layer again, and I'll just bump this up to the top this time, you can see in the emojis, you can see that in the emojis and symbols window, we have a lot of other useful options here too. So things like food and drink, activity, travel and places, objects, um, and we have these full color icons or emojis. And we also have some useful arrows and currency symbols that we can use in our edits as well. So if you're looking for more graphic content to add into your Final Cut Pro edits to overlay over your images or your video, then this is the place to come. And also it's worth mentioning that the emojis and symbols window can be used in any application. So what we're doing here at the top right is not a Final Cut Pro 10 shortcut. It will work in text edit and other applications as well, any application that you're working with on the Mac. So I hope that's been useful. There's a quick intro to how to add emojis and social media icons into your Final Cut Pro 10 edits. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and hit the subscribe button, of course. And thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next tutorial.